there's still a massive effort underway to control the fire. And tackling it is a huge challenge, and that's what this crew are about to do. They're just getting ready now uh, to get on board and to head to that danger zone. It's a hugely challenging mission, isn't it, Leslie? It is, yes. The scope of that fire is quite intense. And what will they be doing once they're up there? This is a rappel-capable crew, so they are heading Amanda up Walker, to be Sky positioned News, for pre-suppression today. So any new fires that are called in, the intent would be for this crew to reach that fire as soon as they can and capture it and keeping it as small as possible. Ben, you're the, the pilot of this helicopter. What, what is it like actually up there and, and how much preparation is involved in heading out for a day above that fire? Uh, quite a bit. Um, yeah, uh, there's a lot we have to do in the morning to get ready, make sure the guys are all checked properly and equipment's working well for the day. So it's quite a bit to take in all at once. But What's it like up there? And, and, and in terms of your own experience, how big a challenge are you facing with this fire? Uh, the Fort McMurray fire we're not going to, but um, I've been on some larger fires and it's extremely difficult. Um, lots of times there's not much um, at the head of the fire. Uh, that ground crews can do. It's more uh, air support from tankers and helicopters. We try and work the back and work our way up the flanks, um, but a fire that large takes some time, obviously, and uh, we need weather, we need rain, I'd say, yeah. And on here, you've, you've obviously got a lot of water on board. You've also got the, the winches. You'll actually go down to lower yourself down onto the ground to try and get as close to the flames as possible. Yeah, so if we can't land uh, close to a fire, we're a repel capable crew. Um, if we can land close to the fire, we'll land first because it's quicker, but if it's normally more than a kilometer <clears throat> of a walk in, we can repel. Um, our rope's 250 feet long, and then we can deploy gear to the guys as well. Uh, pumps, hose, chainsaws, hand tools. Okay. We'll let you get on with this. It's obviously very important getting ready to try and tackle these fires. Leslie, what, you know, we're looking at this now. They're about to go. They're getting ready. In terms of what you've experienced, how vast is this? It, it seems almost impossible to even think about putting these flames out when we see those images. It's a large fire, but if you think about it like a match, the flame is at the head of the match, and then behind the flame is the area that's already been burned. So we're trying to control the head of the fire, obviously, but we're also working along the side and the back of the fire along the flanks. If there's any islands burning inside the fire, we're working on those as well. So it's quite a strategy to attack a fire of that size.